Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I think so. We'll, we'll figure it out together. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. Left again after the goblins. Nope, it was on the right. My bad. Wow, can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Wait, that was our treasure? It's just trash. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their pink. It always had to be pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. The Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, 
coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Let's see, broken shelf, broken char, and the washing machine, broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil, energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. This place needs some serious cleaning. Or an exorcist. Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey. I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever let me wear him very long. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. There were so many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it'd show me something different. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Handmade soap. Still here after ten years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Can you picture Marianne talking to a shrink? No. And speaking of... Therapy's expensive, and I'm fine. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Best mom. <laughs> you think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker.
Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. I'm sure it's still there. I should- She pinched every penny. What are you reading? Nothing interesting. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. What about you? You think you're gifted? I wouldn't be here if I was. What? Like, in this house, with me? I mean anywhere near here. I'd be working in Juno or Seattle or something. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. You can keep some of them. If you want. No thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us. But I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these at my keep. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing, but you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. Two thousand five. Of course. After all this time, I I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? March 7th. Oh. Hey, that reminds me. I owe you like 10 birthday gifts. I think we can let that slide.
I mean it. Hey, you being back is the only gift I need. The last few months are almost all blank. Only a few appointments, most of them canceled. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh yeah, she did that for a while. After all this time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. How are you feeling about being back? <sighs> I thought I knew what to expect, but everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? You okay? I'm honestly not sure how I feel yet. I'm just trying to think of it as an empty house. Yeah, an empty house full of actual ghosts. Hopefully they're friendly ghosts. If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way! Wait for me! Now this... This feels like home. Where'd you come from? Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Ugh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie, back then. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you call him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. Wow, look how small these beds are. We were so little. Yeah. Look what I found! What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. 
Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. We were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird food. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, this one wasn't mine. Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. finally caught the hag, his furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess 
guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touché. I think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it. All right, one more try.
You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. 
Yeah, I can try again. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again. Boom, we're in. this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Let me in. Oh, they used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she?
Hmm. So she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. I had... Oh. This explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? It's here! I knew it. I fucking knew it! Do you think she read it? Of course! She was nosy as hell! Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. 
but I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mom? Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that, fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did and they aren't... God, Tyler, sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word, was. But we need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on.
Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place, and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So... We have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. Already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. <sighs> All right, I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't gonna say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. No known in Tyler's. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn, you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. 
You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but, uh... Uh, I've never seen it, dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Ugh. I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. It's fine. Let's just change the subject. <laughs> Works for me. Tyler. Thanks, Sam. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got? Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which... By the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Uh, this place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Mm, never solved it myself. I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh... <clears throat> so, uh... Guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. Ellie, can you
Can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um... Everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. All right. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right, yeah, of course. Uh... Get going, you two. Um, Sam? We all gotta get going. Oh. Uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh... Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm, this place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... It was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay. Go on, I'll be right behind you. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. 
rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you wanna go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two, bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish, even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Vecchi? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. And he's not exactly charismatic. I want to have the crispy tocino. And noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up Sam. It's crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of babinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, 
Of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. Oh, I'm starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. 